Uh, the book is entitled uh, The Practical Aspects of uh, Labor Law. Now, our purpose here is to introduce the students of uh, labor law to the practical side of the law, bearing in mind that a big chunk of disputes in our legal system are labor cases. This will help the student realize that labor practice is not only about handling illegal dismissal cases or money claims. There are other labor cases which every student of labor law ought to realize. Now, aside from illegal dismissal cases, we have in-plant administrative investigations or disciplinary proceedings. Labor practice also entails handling uh, interunion or intra-union disputes, strikes, collective bargaining negotiations, certification elections, and similar cases. Now, uh, just uh, recently, the Legal Education Board promulgated the Memorandum Order Number 24, Series of 2021 prescribing a, a revised curriculum for basic law program, the goal of which is to produce graduates who are professionally competent and practice ready. The memorandum order mandates that law students shall be trained in the drafting and use of legal documents and forms, and such training shall be integrated in the teaching of substantive law courses. The Legal Education Board also requires preparation and use of common important legal forms in litigation and judicial process. Now, this book attempts to answer the call of the Legal Education Board. Now, as of uh, this day, some schools uh, place much emphasis on the theoretical side of labor laws while overlooking the practical side of it. Now, several times uh, before, I have been approached by new lawyers asking for sample copies of position papers, memorandum of appeal, petition for certiorari, and similar pleadings, including sample copies of notice to explain, or notice of administrative uh, charge. Now, having passed the bar, they surely are very much familiar with the theoretical aspect of labor law. But some of them still have to familiarize with the practical side of it. Uh, students who have finished the uh, labor law course know that before an employee can be dismissed, the employer must observe due process by requiring the employee to explain. But um, how to prepare a notice to explain could pose a problem for the newcomer. They already know that appeals to the NLRC should be in the form of a memorandum of appeal. Again, preparation of a memorandum of appeal can be problematic for the beginner especially when he goes into solo uh, practice. Now, this book attempts to address that predicament. The book is intended for students of labor law to familiarize them with the practical side of labor law. And the practical aspect should be taken side by side with the theoretical aspects so that by the time they graduate, they already have a feel of the practical aspect. For example, if the lesson is about uh, certification elections, uh, the students should already be required to prepare a petition for certification election. If the lesson is about due process requirements of dismissal, uh, then the students should already be made to prepare a notice to explain and notice of dismissal. If the lesson is about compulsory or voluntary arbitration, the students should already be made to prepare position papers 
and reply to position paper. Now, if the lesson is about appeal, the student should be made to prepare a memorandum of appeal. In this manner, the student would already have a feel on what to expect should he decide to engage in labor practice. Now, a, a, a big uh, chunk of uh, cases in our legal system are labor cases. That is why it is virtually impossible for a law student or lawyer not to have been consulted on or handled a labor case. And one of the reasons why the Supreme Court transferred the judicial review of labor cases to the Court of Appeals was because labor cases comprised 65% of its cases. Now, this underscores the need for law students to familiarize themselves with the practical side of labor law while they are still in law school.